How can you not smile out there <laughs> with the sun beating down on you and uh, after after 10, 11, nearly 12 days of really windy weather and, and rain and it just being grey and overcast and miserable, this is, well, this is a delight. And the ducks are enjoying it, they're spending sometime in the sun and then they'll flop down in the shade for a little while and then they're back into the sunshine the flowers are blooming even the ones peeping over the top of the fence oh it's just <laughs> i can't explain how nice this feels hello brave chap are you going to come and say hello could be a chap s of course the ducks that arrived with us uh, just over a week ago now have really settled in um, they haven't quite integrated completely uh, mrs warren is still less interested in being sociable and that might i guess always be the way but she is spending more time with them and she's more tolerant of of them so fingers crossed that at some point she'll just go oh okay well i'll just be part of that group down at the far end of the annual vegetable garden. I have finished putting the homemade compost on this raised bed and the shadows are making really lovely lovely patterns on it there. Uh, sorry, being distracted yet again. <laughs> uh, yes, so I've finished putting the compost. Uh, this is the homemade compost uh, onto this bed and today I'm going to uh, start planting some cabbages and as soon as I've done that, I'm going to get the netting over it to stop the cabbage white butterfly from uh, using it to lay their eggs. I've brought over the netting that I'm going to use. This was um, this is scaffold netting for uh, protecting the public from debris falling from a building when it's got scaffolding up. And we bought it in the winter to uh, cover some of the areas where the chickens were going to be because we had to keep the ground covered um, to prevent wild bird poop getting onto the ground uh, but you know what I'm like I hate wasting stuff so I'm going to use this and then come the winter it'll come off the uh, off the frame here and go back over the chicken area so I started securing uh, the netting on at the top and to a post on the inside there and I'll seal this up along this end uh, so that the butterflies and moths can't get in and then I'm going to go along and secure the netting. I decided to put this on before I do the planting because uh, that way there's no chance that this netting is going to drag over the plants uh, and it protects them from the beginning. So I've secured it at the top, I've secured it at the end except for down here this is still open and I'm going to use uh, just some clips to close that because it gives me it gives me the ability to lift the netting on one side at a time to get the planting done. What I have to go in today is a selection of cauliflower, spring greens, two different types of purple sprouting broccoli and some January King cabbage and the ones at the back are Asturian tree cabbage and they're just going to go into pots and uh, and to grow on a bit more before I put them into the ground uh, in the food forest. I've come inside uh, for a few moments to get a drink because it's uh, it's mighty hot out there hurrah hurrah and, uh, and I'm getting getting stupidly hot and dry so it seemed like a good idea top up my fluid levels so I've got a glass of water and, uh, and when I've had that I'll head back outside and finish the planting. Mm -hmm. 